Hello everyone, welcome again. And this tutorial, we are going to continue the Selenium automation series. So, last video you have seen like how we can configure the system to automate. And in this tutorial, we are going to perform a task uh, to automate this registration or you can say input form inside. You can also use this site for dummy purpose for learning purpose. So, so the site URL is seleniumaz.com slash test so when you enter this site and inside this input form simple input form you will get this simple input form here if you are going to enter some message here so you will get the message back here and if you are entering some numbers to you are getting the total here so we are going to automate this form and if you want complete source code about the registration form so you can visit that code1.com i can provide the link in description box and you can fill the complete source code for this registration form there is an image i added an image also here uh, there is a complete example of input fields uh, radio buttons and check boxes drop down uploading and all things so day by day tutorial by tutorial we recover all the things so today we are going to just cover that input fields and click operation on the button and how to take inputs and how to verify this uh, data so i'm going to start and as you know how to configure these things so uh, if you don't know please watch the previous video you will like clearly why we are going to use the system dot site property and why we are passing here the web driver with chrome driver and this is the path of driver chrome driver my chrome driver my dr my driver is uh, in the d drive selenium folder so it's accessing the path from here so next very next we're creating the object of chrome chrome driver now we want to maximize our window maximize our screen automation screen so our browser screen so we are going to use this driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so next step will be we need to we need to navigate on that particular url so driver dot get will use so driver dot get and here I need to pass this URL. So I'm gonna pass this URL. So URL is selenium.com slash test and after that I'm going to click on this icon. So right click so I need X path of this icon. So there is a multiple way to get uh, to get a particular icon or to get a particular element from the HTML page so you can take it by the name by the ID by the uh, CSS class or uh, the last option you can use the X path so just hit here and check here is the classes drop down toggle and data toggle or something so I just want to use the XPath here because I am not getting any unique thing here. So because the class may be uh, multiple, or so that's why I am going to use the XPath. So how to get the element XPath? Just target that particular element. Right click, copy, and XPath. Just go in your code, and I want to click on this. So driver dot click, driver dot. Uh, so we find element we need to find the element first so find element via x path and here you need to pass the x path exit x path and then we need to perform that click operation Just click click so done now the next step will be after this we need to perform on that simple form demo option so here you can see another link to click this link I need X path of this link so I get the X path then driver dot again the same thing find element by dot X path and here I need to pass the X path here and dot click the very next when I click on this it will go here and it will redirect me on this simple input form so here in this form I need to enter some value in this input for input form so first very first I need to get the element of this input form this element input form 
so just target the element and you can see there is a type text and placeholder also there id also there so i can use final element by id also but for clarity or unique uh, i'm going to use the x path so driver dot find element by x path and we find that element and now we want to send some key here so we want to send some data so i want to some pass the string hello and in this input uh, form input field and then i want to click on the show button so it will read and it will uh, print the message here so target the button and just right click and take the x path x path Again, Java dot find element by x path. I really need to paste the x path, and just I want to perform the click operation. Here. Similarly, uh, we need to take the input of this two field and the pass the value here and get the result. So if I want to do this, so just right click and target the element and get the x path. So I click copy x path. Again, Java dot find element by x path, and here also I want to send a key. So send key, like I want to send the key in a string is called ten. Okay, and uh, next Java dot find element by x path, and here also I need to send some key. So it may be 20. Just get another X path and pasture. Now the final X path we need that get total button. Right click copy X path. And have a dot find element by X path and here just need to click on this button let's see what happened I'm going to execute this test so this test case okay the browser is open let's maximize let's click on that form you can see the message here hello and the total is 30 so it's working fine for me and uh, thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe the very next video we will see how to verify the text here uh, like I will, i'm going to enter this uh, hello so i need to verify that so we will see some tricky assets and how to use assets in selenium web driver and how to verify the things and in upcoming videos we will see the most uh, um, practical things how to remove that notify how to set proxy and things so for more notification please